Hey you guys, guess what time of day it is? I'll give you one guess. It's Dollar Tree time, people. It is Dollar Tree time where you are. Hello my friends, hello my family, how are you? What's the 411 where you're at? Do tell, do tell. I look like a hot mess, don't I? Anyways, um, so, how are you? What's going on? I feel like I got something right here. Ooh, my eyes, my eyes. These eyes. Anyways, um, what's going on here? Not a much, not, not much. Can't talk today either. Anyways, um, and I keep saying anyways, so slap me upside the head when I say it. Okay? Okay. I have a little spot of coffee. I gotta tell you something. I need you to do me a favor. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. Hit, hit that bell. Hit that bell. Hit, hit that damn bell. Thank you. It'll let you know when I upload a video. And like, comment, share, subscribe down below. And give a thumbs up. Thumbs up. If you must do a thumbs down, let me tell you something. I didn't get a thumbs down from someone, but this week, it opened my eyes. I'm not going to mention names. I didn't delete the post because that person opened my eyes. I owe you guys a huge apology. What's that you say? It is this. I read every comment that you guys send me. I don't always comment because A, I'm either crunched for time, I'm tired, and that's not an excuse, or Kylie's running around, or whatever. And I don't want you to think for two seconds that I don't appreciate all your comments, because I do. But, you know what? This person opened my eyes. And I hope that person that you, I hope that you're watching my video right now, and please comment again, because I'm going to try very, very, very hard. I'm not perfect. Very hard to answer your comments, because I love you guys, and without you, I wouldn't be here. Okay? And I apologize, and it's not that, um, I don't care. I do. I just, I'm going to let you know a little, a little something, something here. I have seven videos before, and you guys already know this. Okay? Oh, I see the problem is I'm crooked. Okay? You already know this. I have depression. Real bad. And I have added to it chronic fatigue for my sepsis. And let me tell you, I thought it was my brain, I thought it was my head, I thought it was whatever for a long, long time. And then I got in a support group and there's so many people like me that have the same thing. That lead feeling, cement legs, can't sleep, sleep too much. It's just crazy. But anyway, I don't want to get into all that because we can do that another time. I just want you guys to know that it's really bad right now, and that's why I have I almost took a break from YouTube, and then I got to thinking, I'm too afraid if I take a break, I won't come back. Does that make sense? And I love you guys too much, so I'm going to fight through this if you'll fight along with me. It's never going to go away, and I have to accept that. I just have to figure out how to learn to live with this, and then I know, I know, I get some of this weight off, it's going to help tremendously. And I'm trying to work on that right now. I don't want this to be a pity party. Oh, poor Lisa, blah, 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 blah. I don't want you to think that. Please don't. And if you guys got problems, please, you know, sometimes it's it's really, as, as crazy as this sounds, sometimes it's nice to hear other people's problems. Because then it's taken away from your own. But I'll tell you, friends, and I'm only going to get into this a little bit. I guess what's really bothering me and what's really depressing me is I want so many things from before. Like when I started this channel, I was gung-ho. I still am gung-ho, but it's so exhausting just to do stuff. I have no energy for my grandkids, and that sucks. And I got to, you know, change that. Somehow, some way, I'm going to fight, fight, fight. So, long story short, 
At least it's not a bad day. And then I have this new head thing. Don't ask me what that's all about, because I just noticed that in the last couple weeks. I'm doing this bebopping thing. I don't know what that's... I don't know. At least it's going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I can tell you that much right now. Anyways, it's glorious weather here. Hotter than Hades, but it's glorious weather. It's blue skies and sunshine and all that good stuff. You know, um, it's supposed to be hot all week. What are your plans for 4th of July? Do you tell, do you tell. I do have some upcoming, um, I, first of all, I've got prizes going out this week. Um, because it took me for a long time to get, get an address. <laughs> And when I figured out through Facebook how I get the address. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I did go ahead. I'll show you some things that I got that I'm going to use for the next giveaway. But I'm not going to do that for a little while. Only because I want to get the rest of these out. Because I don't... I, yeah, that's what I want to do. So. What else is going on? Oh. I got a little tidbit of gossip for you. It's not gossip. It's just about my own granddaughter. My granddaughter, Caitlin came over the other day with a boy. Guess what his name was? Jack. Do you guys want to, you guys, if anybody knows me really well, why is Jack a significant name? It's my ex-husband's name. If you think about that for a minute, what do I call him? Not all the time, once in a while. But until I met this new Jack, I was like, it was right at the tip of my tongue. I wanted to say J.A. so bad. Just because that's what I say. But <laughs> He was a nice young man. He was okay. Um, don't be getting fresh from a granddaughter, dude. Because I'll have to clock you one. Okay? She's beautiful. She's graduated from high school. She works two jobs. And unless you can stand up to that, back off, mister. Just saying. So we have lots of stuff going on. So anyways, you guys are here for Dollar Tree Haul. I can keep running my mouth. We're already seven and a half minutes into this. So let's get started with this Dollar Tree Haul. You all. Okay. This, I had to go to a different town because I had seen the one set of these and I, I really wasn't fond of them. And I knew from Facebook and from other people doing YouTube that there was another set of these colors. I found them in Holland, Michigan. Look at how vibrant and beautiful those are. And they're huge. They're... I'll tell you in just a minute. They are four inches wide. Yeah, that's a pretty good size. That's not, that's not going to go on. That's going to go on a project, not like a card. But aren't those beautiful? I just love them. So I was glad I held up, you know. Okay, the next thing that I got, walked by these several times, and then all of a sudden the light bulb went off. I'm like, pocket letters. So, I got this. Comes with two. It's by Jot. Okay, it fits a pocket letter, and they're perfect. I got this one. And then, see, my thoughts were this. I'll show you. Well, let me show you the next one. So then there's this one. And that's pretty too. Okay. Here's what my thoughts were. My thoughts were I would put the pocket letter in this large one and then I'd put goodies in this. Extra goodies because does Lisa have extra goodies? Oh, hell yeah. It's my new, my new thing. I'm going to start getting, I'm just going to start giving stuff away. If you have any thoughts or suggestions of who I can give some stuff to, like a women's shelter, whatever, let me know. Okay. Bought these. Is, this is kind of boring, but you know, for a dollar, shower liners from the Dollar Tree, they work. This way, you can like replace them every couple of months, like you should. So there you go. There's that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, these are the Crafter Square Jewel Four Piece Gemstone Designs of the Butterflies. Aren't those pretty? 
And then these are of uh, the silver and gold uh, five piece. Well, I think it's more than five piece because they're not, anyways. So that, I thought that was nice. Okay. All right. So I landed because at my regular Dollar Tree, they didn't have these any longer. So when I went to the one in Holland, they had them. So this will be used for a giveaway and a future giveaway because I know some people are asking for this. So I got two. And I really like mine because I have mine right next to me and I can grab it much easier than what I had before. So that's good. Um, let's see. Oh, I didn't show Kylie these, but I was like thrilled to get this. So this is a 20 piece luncheon napkin. I thought I could use those for pocket letters, you know, kind of put a napkin in there because I thought that was real pretty. And it has the same thing on the back. Mm, let's see. Oh, this was kind of a fine. Now you watch. Mike's going to like this, and then I'm going to be like, I can't get any more. It's the Meal Energy Caffeine and B Vitamins. Okay, so this is strawberry pineapple. Um, it comes with 10 packs on the go. Looks like that. So I got two. Um, I'm going to try one of these tomorrow morning. It says it has 120 milligrams of caffeine per one packet. And you put it in 16 ounces of coffee. Or, don't put it in a coffee, okay? That would be silly. It, you, it, in 16 ounce cup. And this is good till April 21. So it's a good, I don't know why they got rid of them, but you know, we'll just give them a little whirl. Maybe they taste nasty. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll let you know. If I remember, because a lot of times I tell you I'm going to do that and then I forget. Ah, oh, that coffee tastes good. Okay. The old trusty. So, sing me a song. I got something from another store I want to show you, but I'm not right now. Okay. So. Another store. And this is from the other store. Okay. So, I found this. And that is the uh, Marquee Love. It's the tape. Um, 10 feet. And I remember I got the blue one. I don't know where the blue one went. It was right here, but it's gone now. There it is. So they were having these two together. Not together, but separate. Now, unless you're only in my dreams, girlfriend got hooked up. She got hers two in there. I paid a dollar a piece, so there you go. Alright, so I... Oh, I just realized this had a... Oh, on it. That's cool. All right, so this is Crafter Square. Um, like I remember how we used to go crazy over the washi tape, and we'd have to get the whole rack. I don't do that anymore. I really need to stop buying washi all together because I got too much of it. Because washi tape does go bad. It does. It does. Mhm. Mm Even the expensive stuff like from Michaels. I had this Jane. Some, or not some sweet lady, um, Jane, 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 I can't think of her last name. Anyways, it's a, it's a name brand. And the tape's useless. I mean, it sticks together, it rips, it's just not good, so. Note to yourself, it does go bad. Okay, so. I just go on a tangent about things. I mean, come on now. Alright, so, here it is. Isn't he cute? And then, look. Where'd the cuteness go? It's got an owl. So, it looks like that. There you go. Okay. Alright. So then I found... I think I only got two. Yeah. This one was kind of pretty. I would use this for, I don't know, fall maybe? I don't know. Something like that. So there's that one. It looks like that. And then they had another set of this lip, uh, Wet n' Wild's, um, the gel lip liner. So it's in peach. Peach. And then it has the, uh, Wet n' Wild pout and tease. The, like, it's a lip gloss. 
So I have two of those now, and I was, I'm really, I have it on right now, so it's, it is pretty. All right, so then I have I got me another trusty lighter. Do you know something about these? You can refill these. They're refillable. Just so you know. All right. Let me get this stuff put back in here so this is out of the way. So we're not dealing with it. You know what I'm saying, peoples? back to my regular store and of course this stuff was gone but I found this in Holland da -da -da -da, and I got two of them and this will go for a giveaway one of them but not right now we're gonna wait just a little bit just not very long just a little bit of time but this is a heck of a deal it really is it's just a nice bunch of papers but I got to thinking about this my good friend Leah from my day-to-day -day life um had came she came to my house and gave me a basket full of this kind of thing that if I would just cut it up myself, I'd have my own note to sell. But for a dollar, can't beat that. So, there you go. Alright, so, of course, got the trusty, dusty ketchup. Because for a buck, for 20 ounces is a good deal. Okay. Now... I told you I got medication issues and my scalp itches. So I thought I'm going to try this because it really itches bad and it's driving me nuts. So I'm wondering if this dry scalp soothe and relieve, soothe and relieve almond oil, paraben free, moisturizing shampoo. I'm going to give this a little whirl. Uh, hopefully it works. If you guys have used this, let me know. It smells really good. Okay. Now, here's something I'm going to tell I am going to do a review. I bought this um, the last time. I bought it again. Now, it is small, but I will go try to find the bigger one at, a, at the big stores. This stuff works like a champ. It's degree dry spray, ultra clear, and it's a 48-hour antiperspirant. Okay? I sweat, especially where I work at because it gets hot in the kitchen. All I gotta do is spray this a couple times and I'm done. I take it to work with me just in case and I haven't had to use it. So there you go. Get yourself some. All right. Then I bought this before and I can't find it, so I bought it again. This is a really great comb, just so you know, because my hair gets, especially on this side, gets very snarly. All right. Bought this baby blanket. Now. Why did I buy this baby blanket? I do have a granddaughter, but she's probably got enough blankets. I am going to cut this up in squares, and I use it for that little problem area that I was talking about in my belt line to cushion it because it gets very, very sensitive, like the nerves just. So that's what I do. For a buck, you can't beat that. I was very excited to find these um, for a future pocket letter. Of coffee so this is the jot four magnets so can you see that what's it say bold and strong a coffee cup another coffee cup and a I guess teapot I just thought that was cool then I had to get another one of these because I am a person that likes to have new ones of these all the time because they get disgusting I don't have a dishwasher. I have to do dishes by hand, which sucks. All right. Super excited about these. I want to know if this is a name brand because I don't know. So, I got myself. These are Bum Equipment. I think Bum Equipment is a name brand. If it's not, tell me. So, this is what they look like. And they're, they're nice. And I got another pair. So, I got two. And then I got these for Kylie. Um, cushion cell arch support, breathable, and moisture control. And hers come with two. And then I got the great ones. Okay. We're getting there, you guys. We're getting there. Okay, so I found this was the Rave 4x Mega Hold 
Now they do have five, but they didn't have any of that day, and this stuff works like a champ. I just need some to kind of muster up the hair a little bit. Okay, and then I got some Tums to have in the house for when the kids come over, because they have heart, my kids have heartburn terrible. Terrible. All of them do. Um, the boys more than the girls, but Angie has a bad. Her dad had heartburn terrible, or has heartburn terrible, and he takes medication. And I had heartburn for a long time, but it was from my gallbladder. But his kids are chronic. It's just, they're constantly drinking milk and eating meats and not cool. So, all right, you guys, let's see. This is going to be the last part of the Dollar Tree haul, and then I'll show you a couple things that I got from a value um, land. This is the Youth Tees. Looks like this. For a buck, you can't beat that. And then I got a black one. So that is the part of the Dollar Tree haul. You all. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I just got a couple things that I got from the value. Um, it's not Value City. Value Land? No. One of those. It's a Value Dollar Tree. Not Dollar Tree, but Dollar Store. Anyways. So I got some needles. I needed some needles. I couldn't believe I found these there. I needed these real bad for when I'm doing like updos in my hair. I never knew these things worked until I, I thought, oh, I'm going to try them because I know my daughter Lauren uses them a lot because she does a lot of updos. Oh, so impressed. I'm like, definitely got to have those. All right, here's the cuteness. This is um, Unique Favors, and it's six flip-flop keychains. Aren't those cute? And then to go with it, do a summer pocket letter or whatever, is these. Aren't those cute? They're little... Um, 12 a notebook. Yeah, 12 of them in there. Isn't that just adorable? And then for my desk area here, because it's always getting dusty, dusty, I bought this. I have a little 3M hook I'm going to put down here, and this is going to be to sweep up the mess. So there you go, you guys. That is the Dollar Tree haul. That's it. That's all. It's a whole kit and boodle. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love you guys to pieces. I hope you have a fabulous day, so like, comment, share, subscribe down below. Hit that bell if you want to be notified of any upcoming videos from me. Remember snail mail, because everybody likes hitting something good in the mail besides a damn bill. I know I do. If you want to, head on over to Lisa's Snail Mail and more page on my Facebook page and join the group. What else? Do something good for yourself so that you can do something good for somebody else. And above all else, I just want you guys to be good. And have a good night. I love you. Mm -hmm.